Well, how do guys? Welcome back to another video. If you do enjoy the videos, do take time to give them a thumbs up. Perhaps share them on your Facebook or Instagram pages or your web forums. That would be most appreciated and you'd help to grow the channel. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing, you silly goat? <laughs> Click the bell icon and the subscribe button and you will be kept up to date with when I upload new videos and a back catalogue of older videos to, you know, take your time and peruse and enjoy so what are we doing well a bit of an early start again I'm gonna be fishing it's coming up for 3 a.m. so I've got a night light on a um, insert waggler and we're gonna be back out today like my other video on the lift method the rod is the same as last time fish tech TFG compact float rod 10 foot in length and Marco called Tacy reel now as I say fishing the lift method so as you'd expect one shot on the bottom around about three to four inches over depth then draw this down tighten the line so the float cocks then when you do get a bite and the fish lifts the weight from the bottom the main shot the float will lift lay flat sometimes it will lift lay flat and zip off nice effective way to fish especially for where tension concerned as i say it's a marco cortesi pin that's six pound line um, the hook link material is Preston Innovations power line, five pound breaking strain. Very, very nice hook link material. One that I actually use for barbel fishing in heavier breaking strains if I need to fish for in wary conditions like daylight or sunny conditions or the fish are being wary in general. But it's very nice and shock resistant, nice abrasion resistance to it. Now the hook is a talon tip and that's a specimen gauge, specimen wire size 12. Bait wise, I'm going to start off again on um, worms. I've got red worms with me. I've got corn. Cool. Depends how the rod are. If they're really playing havoc, and I and I am intentionally going for tench, then I will switch over to side hooking boilies again. That's mainline tutti fruities. But I've also got these today as well, and they're dumbbell wafters they're done by the mainline match side, and um, they're really nice, real real nice, critically balanced that you can, you know presentation that you can get, and they're pineapple flavour. And they're eight millimeter, and those are orange, like a, well, I say orange, they're orange color, and they are chocolate, but they do smell like a chocolate orange to me anyway. Both nice way of presenting a bait, especially if the rudder are being a, a bit of a nuisance. No disrespect to the rudder, there's some crackers in here, but I do want to pick up the tench. And sometimes they can over and out compete the tench in the spot and get to the worm and the corn before um, the tench get a look in. But I am going to start on worm and I have got corn with me. So, here's a tin of corn. Ground bait is mainline uh, sweet marine, a little bit of castor, a little bit of maggot. And in with that, I've got the um, mainline smart liquid in cream flavor. It's a beautiful, it's a very, comes in a, comes in a white tube or squeezable bottle. And it's, it's like a condensed toffee meets cream flavor to it, beautiful mixture when you mix it in with the ground bait I, you can use it concentrated or you can water it down a bit i water it down a bit even when you water it down you get a nice absorption into the ground bait and i noticed that when you um put the balls of ground bait into the swim you can see the liquid rising up through the water column which is great if you want to get a high leakage a high central going off from the area a bit like a slick yeah it's really good and it seems to last i mean i've put balls of ground bait in the swim before and two hours later there's still a plume of like a creamy colour coming up. Anyway, that's the sum of it, keeping it simple. So baits, I've got bread as well. Baits, bread, sweet corn, red worms, dumbbell wafters and tutti frutti boilies and then mini sized boilies, you know, 10, 12 millimetres. So that is the main scope of it. I'm going to put some ground bait in now, put a little bit of corn in and um, start getting settled into the swim. Try not to waffle too much, eh? See you in a bit.
that's it and just a small amount of ground weight to begin with and then I'll feed it in as and when the tench move in they don't normally tend to move in until first light but we will see they might not play ball they might but conditions don't seem too bad to me so fingers crossed let's get the rod out there shall we and get that lift method float cocked Long. Guys, I've got, got tench bubbles to the left of my float. Fingers crossed. Definitely tench bubbles.
Get in there. Oh, what a scrap. What a scrap. I'll tell you what, they've been, been leading me a merry dance. Fizzing to my left, fizzing to my right. Here I am, stuck in the middle again. Sound like a certain song, don't it? Jokers to my left. Jokers to my right. <laughs> well, in this case, tinkers to my left, tinkers to my right. And I'm stuck in the middle with them fizzing. Nice to get one. That's a changeover. I, to be honest, I've hit a, hit a very good bite on the um, chocolate wafter. And that I connected with that fish. That was a tension. That slipped the hook earlier on. But since then, it's been tricky. So I've gone to a side hooked mini to the fruity boily. And the right fish right tight against this left hand bush. And it's uh, produced a nice bite and a good old scrap there. I think you'll agree, guys, a really good scrap. Well, how's about that for a muscular male? And I didn't half scrap, as you saw, put me to a right riot of a fight. And after I've had fizzing driving me to distraction in front, to my left, to my right, I had a tench roll straight in front, a tench roll under the bush. Nice to see it the float finally roll over and play dead. And what a scrap. Changed over to a um, mainline mini tutti frutti mainline match boily, and yeah, did the business. <laughs> beautiful looking fish, beautiful condition. Just draw myself back a bit. There we go. What a cork! What a corking paddle too. Let's get it slipped back. Maybe we can nick another one. Who knows? You know, I fish as I say in a lot of my videos. I fish for a bite, and if I get a fish or two, or even just one, I'm happy. Especially when it can be. Can be these can be tricky little cute little fish, I can tell you that. Great to catch on the pin though and the lift method. Yep. Of course, powerful fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. I think it's another male. Oh, he's going. Old males give you a good spanking, I tell you. Tench number two. About time to get two in the trot there. It's nice. Really nice. 
Well, how about that then? She's a plump girl, isn't she? Another well, plump one. Beautiful condition. Really, really, really good scrap. I thought that was a mouth the way she went off. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Did you a disservice? You thought every bit as good as a male tinker. <laughs> Wonderful. Beautiful condition. Admittedly, a few predation scars, but you know, such is life, isn't it? It's the way of life. We all have our scars. I can assure you, she's not alone with that. But what a beautiful looking tent. Cracking. Absolutely cracking. Nice to have after I've been. Must have gone through a 50, well I didn't film them, not 50, probably more like 30 to 40 rud. Um, so nice to get amongst what I was targeting, or hoping to target. But yeah, she's a fine looking fish, indeed. Ha. Well, what started tricky ended better, that's for sure. I had lots of fizzing, to my left, to my right, out in front of me. I had a tench roll right under the marginal bush. I tell you what, sometimes when you see fish roll like that, especially tench, it almost looks like they've got a lookout, one of them's on lookout, and they're coming up and going, lads, he's still here, don't feed just yet. <laughs> but yeah, it was tricky. I um, didn't film any of the rub that I had. They were, there's, there, it's honestly some crackers in here, but there's a lot of, a lot of smaller rub, like from about three ounces to about six ounces, but they are, I promise you, there's some real good rud in here. So I couldn't, I was trying to use corn, worms, etc. And as usual, absolutely mullered by rud. Small juvenile rud. Um, must have had about 30 of them. And um, so I decided, you know, I'm going to switch over to a wafter. Switched over to a mainline match 8mm chocolate wafter. Um, and I had a lovely, didn't have the camera on, I had a lovely lay flat bite struck it, went to put the camera on, and it's gone fud. New straight away, it's a tench. Ping, hook's pulled. And I'm thinking it's going to be one of them trips, you know, you've got a few hours fishing, literally only around about three and a half hours fishing. And um thinking to myself, oh, is it going to be one where I'm going to nick a, not nick a fish after losing one? And um, yeah, changed over from the wafters then, chopping and changing. Changed over to the small tooty fruity boilies. Um, and um, had a fish off of my marginal bush to my left. Beautiful scrap, that's a lovely looking male tinker. Don't get better than that for a fight, I tell you. And then one a bit later on, nice female. Now the, they are still bubbling a bit, very sporadic now, kind of eased off. Um, so yeah, it's been a tricky trip. I mean, I always find, you know, tench, uh, and they're real cute in general, real cute. Nice looking fish, cute in that way, also cute up here as well. And um, do like taking them on the lift method, do like taking them on the pin, very enjoyable. Anyway, I've got to get moseying, I've got to get back home. Got some garden stuff that I've got to be attending to, got to pot out some um, courgettes. Um, done aubergines and peppers yesterday. They've all been sorted out and potted out to grow on. Um, yeah, it's been enjoyable. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you didn't find it too boring. Can be tricky at times. That's fishing, guys. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. Um, but yeah, two fine tinkers. Tailor-made for this chap. And yeah, I've enjoyed the trip. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Catch you on the flip side on another Fishing for Memories video. And wherever you're fishing, I hope you are having a good and enjoyable time and your health is strong. Take care. See you soon.